the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Begley. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. it behind Dembele would have known he needed to generate more power behind that but it just lacked the precision anyway gets up to head it danger averted for now and it's Lamella Lamella cuts it back Ericsson it's bounced out who's ball who's gonna get there and he's there to hoof it away Yarmolenko did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Just needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Eriksson, good idea, just poorly executed. Kane with the ball through. And it's Dembele. Looks like a good ball through. It's Chadley! Goal! A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Tottenham break the deadlock. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Now it's Kane. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. Kane! Just as well the defender was on hand to mop up the loose ball. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Dragovic. Lamela comes sliding in. It's Kane! And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Dembele. Yarmolenko looks to slip it through Oroshuk 
Federico Fazio. The referee brings the first half to a close. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Tottenham, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. Start of the second half. Tottenham going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Lamela. Belanda. Be a throw in. Dragovic. Tottenham just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. This has gone, that's a foul. Chadley, the scorer already in the game. And the play for a throw. And back out it comes. Now the pass. Kane! Sticks it away! And with that goal comes comfort! Absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Tottenham to have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. It's long and forward. Yarmolenko passes it through. Oh, good interception. Yarmolenko. Borazuk looking up to see who wants it. Chadley boots it upfield. Ball's gone out of play. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. And it's Chadley. Fine defending there. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim?
Listen, there was a real concentration on wider attacking outlets and they got their tactics spot on. They found a vulnerability and played on it to the full. It was clever and superbly executed. And just to add, usually if you're enjoying good success from the flanks, it will be shut down or disrupted in some way, but they deserve great credit for maintaining energy and, and a liveliness to their play.